Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, people. Welcome. Teacher, uh, I am here in the office. Uh, I, I had to work. Oh. Okay. Solo va a estar de oyente. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, people, let's get started this evening. It is time. I'm going to take the first attendance of the evening. So please remember, turn on your cameras and respond. Saying present when I call your name. Okay, Alba Janet Jimenez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Carlos Ernesto Perez. No. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Mm. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Oh. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Eric Jose Hernandez. Herman Enrique González. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. The personal session is with you tonight, Jennifer. Okay. Jose Abel Izaguirre. You're present teacher. Good. Jose Miguel Maza. Karina Elizabeth Hernandez. Magdiel Esaú García. 
Present teacher. Okay. Present. Okay. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Good. Welcome. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Reinaldo, not anymore. Wendy Lisette Gomez. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Um, Wilber Alberto Perez. And. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Okay, welcome. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Okay, welcome. Henry Alberto Perez. Here I am, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Okay. Let's double check. Andrea Sofía, Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto, okay. Present. Ah. Good evening teacher. Eric okay. Escobar Eric. is present. Okay, Eric de Nilsson, Eric José. No yet. José Miguel. Karina Elizabeth. Raúl Arturo. Wendy Lisette, Wilber Alberto. Okay. Let's get it started. We are going to continue tonight with lesson three. On Monday, we're going to practice a little bit more about questions. Simple present information question. We're going to practice on Monday a little bit more, okay? Uh, tonight we are going to start talking about simple past and yes, no questions in simple past. That is the topic, the grammar topic. At the end of this class, you will be able to describe past networking experiences in business events. What is networking? Do you have any idea what networking is? Anybody knows? Let me show you this. And it's a red de trabajo. Kind of. Networking is the action or process of interacting with others to exchange information and develop professional or social contact. That is the meaning of networking. The action or process of interacting with others. What is the purpose? To exchange information. Okay. Not only people from your company. You could interact with people from another company or from another country you know, to exchange information or to develop professional contacts or social contacts. That is the idea of networking. Could be uh, through the internet or through different means of communication. Okay, not only through the internet, could be over the phone, by email, or different ways, okay? 
that is networking. Now, <clears throat> uh, are you good at networking in business events? Are you good at networking in business events? Yes or no? Thumb up if you are good or thumbs down if you are not good. Tell me, are you good interacting with others to get social information or professional information? Who says that he's good? Hey, thumb up or thumb down. Carlos says he's good. Blanca says he's good. Up or down, up or down, up or down. Uh -huh. Well, maybe. Okay, Wendy says he's good. William says he's good. Okay. Great. Now, business cards. Oh, man. Business cards? Yeah. Do you often share business cards when you network? I don't have business cards. Do you have business cards? Raise your hand if you have a business card. Wendy has a business card. Hey, Henry has a business card. William, can you show your business card on camera? No es que no les crea, solo para verla. Eh, business card is parked in Santa Ana. And I, I go to San Salvador today. No. Card. No car, card. Card. Yeah, business card. Ah, look. Oh, card. It's blurry. It's un poco bueno. No se ve bien, este, William. Quizás está muy, no sé. A ver, por allá. Se pone borrosa cuando la acerca. Bueno, ahí está, la business card. What, what information you have in your business card, William? It's um, about my profession, a graphic designer. Graphic designer, okay. So the business card, so, and you give your business card sometimes to a client or a, a potential client or a friend or... Good evening, teacher. Sorry. Yeah. Good evening, Wilbur. Okay, business cards. Well, I don't have a business card. Card, no car, card. Uh, maybe these days is easier just to share your your WhatsApp or your email, but it's good to have a business card. Okay, good. Now, let's see, we have a conversation here. It's kind of short conversation. Let me read it first. I'm also going to record it here. Um, okay, give me a second. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. 
I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Okay. Let me read it one more time. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Okay. Now let's practice this conversation, okay? Repeat after me, please. Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you enjoy, you enjoy the, the, seminar? the seminar? Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Yes, I did. Yes, I, did. I learned a lot. Yes, I did. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I, I updated my networking skills. my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. I learned, I learned to move from, 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 from small, small to small to start talk. talk. Okay. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Great. Great. Did, did, you did you make new contacts? Did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Yes, yes I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. With 10 people. 10 people. Awesome. 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 Okay, uh -huh. very good. Now, I am Luis and you are Janet, okay? Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I yes, did. Yes, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. My networking skills, I learned, I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Hey, so did you make new contacts? Yes, yes I, I did. did. I 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 am Luis. No, you are Luis and I am Jan. Okay? You begin. One, two, three. Did you enjoy, did you enjoy the seminar? I did. Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell, Tell me more. more. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Right. right. So, so right. did you make so, new make contacts? New contacts? New contacts. Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Okay. Yes, I did. I changed my sign cards. Okay, now tell me. This conversation is about present activities or past time activities? Are they talking it's about a, it's past, a, past activities? Past, okay. Past activity. Yes, they are talking about past activities. Okay. Past activity. Past time activity. Correct. And we have the verbs, some verbs in the past tense, especially in affirmative sentences. I learned a lot, learned. I learned a lot. I updated my networking skills. Again, I learned to move from small to smart talk. 
I exchanged business cards with 10 people. And we have a couple of questions in past. Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you make new contacts? Okay, so these questions are in the past tense. And they are yes, no questions. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. That is what we know as a short answer. Yes, I did. Short answer. Did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. Okay. So we have yes, no questions and short answers. Yes, no questions and short answers in the simple past. All right, I will give you time to practice the conversation in pairs. And after that, I want you to uh, choose the correct answer for these questions. You have four questions here about the conversation. Did Luis go to the seminar? Did Janet uh, update her networking skills? Did Janet learn to go from small to smart talk? Did Luis exchange business cards with 10 people? You have to choose the correct answer, okay? According to the conversation. So I'll send you to work in pairs to practice the conversation and to complete exercise three. Let me see. Uh, oh. uh. Only one group will have three, three students, okay? So join your groups, please. Practice the conversation and respond to questions on exercise three. See you in 10 minutes.
Empiezo yo. O empieza usted. Ok. Hi, teacher. Hi. Le, le, le invitaba solo para que no nos no diera acceso a compartir pantalla. <ríe> oh, ok. Ahí está. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Andrea, ¿puedes ver pantalla? Sí.
Okay, welcome back. Okay, let's see. Okay, Eric, Ed Nilsson, and Jennifer, can you read the conversation, please? Did you enjoy the seminar? Eric? It's not there. Okay, Raul, can you practice with Jennifer, please? Okay, teacher. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I used my working skill. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Right. So, did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I exchange business cards with 10 people. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, very good. Thanks. Now, please, Wilbur and William. We'll begin. You. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned it a lot. Tell me more. I applied my network skills. I learned it to move from small to small talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I changed <coughs> business cards with um, people. Awesome. Good. Very good. Consuelo and Fanny, Judith, please. <clears throat> okay. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my new working skill. I learned to move from small to a smart tool. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with uh, 10 people. Awesome. 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 <laughs> hey. Now, uh... Alba, Janet, and Carlos. Okay. Um, did you enjoy this seminar? Yes, I did. I learned, learned a lot. Tell me more. I understand my networking skill. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. I'm sorry. Okay. Andrea and Jose Abel. Okay. Uh, did you enjoy this seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my network, networking skills. I learned to move 
from the small to small talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with ten people. How was some? Pedro and Wendy. Okay. Uh, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I did my working skills a uh, learning to move from a small to a smart store. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I changed business cards by 10 people. Also? And let's see. Who, who was your partner, Henry? Miguel. Yes. Uh, With me. Ah, oh, okay, go ahead. Okay. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my networking skill. I learned to move from smart to smart, to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. Awesome. Okay, very good. Thank you. Very good. Now, let's see. Let's practice some words here. Um, let me use which one? First, this. Learned. Learned. I learned a lot. Learned. Updated. Updated. Exchanged. Exchanged. And this. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so please be careful with those words. Um, I would like to. I want to share quickly some information about the pronunciation of the past form of um, regular verbs because irregular verbs are very um, well there's no rule for irregular verbs you know? so but of this Give me a second.
solo un rápido recordatorio de esto. Estamos viendo el simple past, ¿verdad? Y la pronunciación de los, los verbos regulares en pasado, la mayoría terminan en ed. ¿Verdad? Eso lo deben de, de recordar. ¿Verdad? Pronunciación del... Y este ed no se pronuncia así, no se pronuncia ed. Es decir, no decimos wanted, needed, looked. No, no se pronuncia así. Se pronuncia de tres formas diferentes. Una es id, como wanted, needed. Los verbos que terminan en t o de, como want, need. Este ed se pronuncia id, wanted, needed. Los verbos que terminan en P, K, F, G, H, S, H, C, H, S, S, C y X. ¿Verdad? Esa ED se pronuncia como una T. El sonido de la T. ¿Verdad? Helped, looked, sniffed, laughed, washed, watched. East, danced, fixed. Todos los verbos que terminan en el este sonido. Y los verbos que terminan, estoy hablando de verbos regulares, ¿verdad? Que terminan en O, N, R, G, V, S, Z, B, M. Terminan en este sonido. La E, D se pronuncia D. D, ¿verdad? Como el sonido de la letra D. Call, called. Clean, cleaned. Offer, offered. Damage, damaged. Love, loved. Use, used. Amaze, amazed. Rob, robbed. Claim, claimed. ¿Ok? Nunca, nunca... Esta ED de los verbos regulares se pronuncia ED. O sea, pueden equivocarse entre estos tres, pero por favor no digan ED. No digan WANTED, NEEDED, WATCHED. O los que están en la conversación, que son... ¿Cuáles son los que tenemos en la conversación? LEARNED. No, nunca. Updated, no. Exchanged, no. Ya les menciono ahí, les voy a dejar esa imagen. Permítame, la voy a. La voy a poner en el WhatsApp. Para que. Se recuerda. Teacher, disculpe. Hola. Todo, todos son verbos regulares, ¿verdad? Exacto. Estamos hablando solo de verbos regulares, porque lo, los verbos irregulares es otro pisto. Todos tienen una pronunciación diferente. No hay reglas con verbos irregulares. Vale, ahí les queda en el WhatsApp la imagen para que la estudien. Ok. Y ahora, uh, let's continue with material here. Bueno, according to the conversation, did Luis go to a seminar? Yes or no? Hello. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Really? Did Janet update her networking skills? Yes, yes she did. He did. Yes, she did. yes, she did. Did Janet learn to go from small to smart talk? 
Did Luis exchange business cards with 10 people? No, he didn't. Okay, he didn't. Okay, solo también para mencionar. What is small talk? Lo que se habla de small talk y de smart talk. Hay small talk y hay smart talk. ¿Alguien tiene idea qué es small talk? Small talk es cuando when, cuando usted conoce a alguien y empezamos a hablar de de cosas irrelevantes. El clima, que de algún deporte, que de, que de gustos. Small, eso se llama small talk. O sea, empezar a hablar cosas solo curiosidad, ¿verdad? Por conocerse, por, pero nada serio, nada profundo. En cambio ya small talk. Ah, entonces ya está, ya pasamos a un nivel más profundo de conversación. ¿Ya? Entonces, Janet aprendió to go from a small talk, que es lo que uno hace con alguien desconocido, a small talk. ¿Ya? Una conversación más seria. Ok. Well. Look at the, uh, we're going to talk now about simple past sentences and just no questions. Vamos a repasar, recordar esto. Oraciones en simple past y just no questions. Veamos, tenemos, estas son affirmative y negative sentences. I learned a lot. I updated my networking. I exchanged business cards. These are affirmative sentences. Yes, estas primeras tres. Son affirmative sentences. Y estas dos, Luis didn't attend the seminar. Luis didn't exchange business cards. Por supuesto que son negative ¿verdad? and simple past. Ok, ahora de acuerdo a estos ejemplos se nos dice acá the simple past describes past events. Use the verb in ed or D form or in the base form. ¿Cómo va el verbo? En la forma ED o D o en la forma básica. ED o D. No. Uh -huh. We use the verb in affirmative sentences. We use the verb in ED or D form. Okay. For negative sentences, use don't or didn't. For negative sentences, we use don't or didn't. 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 Y el verbo en ed o en forma básica. ¿Cómo va el verbo en las negative sentences? Básica. In the base form. Ok. Perfecto, ¿verdad? Tenemos el, el didn't para las negativas y el verbo en forma básica. Ya no ven, el verbo ya no se pone attended, ¿verdad? Attended. No se pone exchanged en forma básica. Bien, y como por supuesto estamos hablando de regular verbs aquí, ¿verdad? 
Ahora revisemos las preguntas. Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you make new contacts? Did Janet update her networking skills? Preguntas acá dice. Eh, start, comienza, start a yes no question about the past with. Do or did? ¿Cómo comenzamos las preguntas? ¿Con do o con did? Did. did. With did, ¿verdad? Después, add, agrega the subject or the verb. ¿Qué va después? ¿El sujeto o el verbo? Subject. Subject. Subject, subject ¿verdad? You, you, Janet. Exactamente después va el subject. Followed by the verb in ED form or in the base form? Base form. El verbo va en base form. ¿Verdad? Muy bien. Y cualquier otra frase complementaria. Entonces tenemos la estructura de las affirmative sentences, de las negative sentences, and the yes, no. ¿Verdad? And short answers. Aquí tenemos yes, no, quest. Bueno, no, de hecho solo la yes, no. Bien, pues recordando, ¿verdad? Esto ya lo había visto. Entonces, tenemos acá preguntas. Y el verbo con el que tenemos que completar las preguntas. ¿Verdad? Did you attend to a seminar last month? Completen las, seis, las otras cinco preguntas. Y eh, luego se las van a preguntar a un compañero y un compañero se las va a preguntar a usted. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, did you attend to a seminar last month? Hablando de mí, ¿verdad? Si, si alguien me preguntara a mí, déjeme ver el mes de... Mayo. No, I didn't. In my caso is, in my case is no, I. Verdad, yo no asistí a ningún seminario el mes pasado. Y así sucesivamente, pues ustedes van a responder. Cuando un compañero les haga la pregunta. Y ustedes van a tomar nota de la respuesta del compañero. Ok. Entonces vamos a las parejas de nuevo. Para hacer ese ejercicio. Okay, join your groups, please. Complete the questions and practice question answer, question answer.
Okay. So question number one, number, no, number two. Uh, Carlos, can you, can you give me the question? Okay, teacher. Uh-huh. And permita me. Me trabajo aquí la. Ok. Um, did you enjoy the seminar? Okay. Did you. Uh, did you enjoy the seminar? Muy bien. Question number three, please, Wilbur. Did you meet new people? Did you meet new people? Yes. Question number four. Uh, Magdiel. Did you did you learn something? Okay. Question number five. Erika Danielson. Okay, teacher. Ahorita. Did you network in the convention? Uh huh. And question number six. Um. Andrea. Okay. Did you did you ex, exchange business card? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Let's practice these questions, please. Repeat after me. Did you attend to a seminar last month? Did you attend to a seminar last month? Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you enjoy the seminar? Yeah. Did you meet new people? Did you meet, Did you new, meet people? new people? Did you learn something? Did, Did you, you learn, learn something? 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 Did you learn something? Did you network in the convention? Did you, Did you network, network in the convention? In the convention? In the convention? <laughs> Did you exchange business cards? Did you, Did you exchange business cards? Okay, very good. Any question with this, people? No. Okay, I'm going to take the second attendance. I almost forgot. Albe Janet Jimenez. Present teacher. Okay, Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Okay, Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Eric Edenilson Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Eric Jose Hernandez. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present. Good. Herman Enrique González.
Herman Enrique González. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Good. Remember, Jennifer, that the personal session is with you. Jose Abelis Aguirre. Here present, teacher. Perfect. Jose Miguel Maza. Karina Elizabeth Hernandez. Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher. Good. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Okay. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Good. Wendy Lisette Gómez. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Good. William Alexander Pantagua. Present. Okay. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Blanca Alejandra. And Henry Alberto Pérez. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Okay, let's continue with the last uh, or the seventh activity of this lesson. Um, just let me share here. This one. Now you have to write a paragraph, a five line paragraph about the last business event you attended. Okay, maybe this month or last month or last year. So the thing is the last business event you attended. Okay, last business event you attended, a five line paragraph. Include details about the event. Try to include some details. Where did the event happen or the place? What you learned? The people you met? If you exchange business cards? And anything else? Any other information? You can talk about the, the place of the event. Okay. It's so, virtual events, no money. Okay. <laughs> so the idea is that you have to write a paragraph about the last business event you attend. Oh, I will give you 10 minutes to work on that. More time, teacher. More time? Only five lines. <laughs> I am okay. slow. Okay, no problem. We'll see. We'll see. When you finish, please raise your hand to let me know that you are done.
Félix, exgerente. Hola, buenas noches. Is going to Can you finish, people? Raise your hand. Raise your hand when you when you finish to let me know. Teacher, verdad que solo era crear un párrafo de cinco líneas sobre la última reunión o seminario. Yes. Okay. I have a question. How do you speak English ex gerente? Former, former, no. Yeah, former manager. Former manager.
Okay, people, I will send you to work in pairs to read your text each other, okay? Para que se lean y se cuenten su experiencia entre ustedes. Okay, join your groups, please, and talk about your last business event.
Okay, any volunteer to tell us about his or her experience? Me, me. Okay, Henry, go ahead. I attended a training give me Adam. It is done virtual activity. In this event, participate the many boss area and middle manager of the company. Marianne was a moderator. She has a lovely accent. She's a Colombian. Uh, the course was taught by a former manager of a shipping company. I learned new concepts related to leadership. Hey, very good. Excellent. Thank you. It was the Thursday. On Thursday, yeah. Yes. Great. Uh, somebody else? Any other volunteer? Me too. Hi. Okay, Wilbur and then Jose. Okay. okay. Uh, this month, it was time to install 25 GPS to vehicles in the east of the country, San Michael to be exact. We had to find hotel for the week. We returned to San Salvador Friday night. The work was heavy, but it's over. Okay, very good. Thank you. Isabel? Okay, I attend meeting on new product at the application level included the entire team of, of global paid developers. To discuss and discuss the workflow for the new requirement in which we deal with a transaction processor called Vulcan, which will facilitate, facilitate, facilitate transactionability throughout the country. Okay. Eh, teacher, le voy a compartir esta frase, no, esta, esta palabra no sé cómo se pronuncia. Throughout. 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 Mm -hmm. Ok, throughout. Yo le decía throughout. <laughs> a través, ¿verdad? ¿Eh? Ok, very good. One more. Hi, teacher. Go ahead. I attend um, a business event in November 2021. The event was online with Environment Fund of Latin America. We talk about good practice in different topics. Example, impact investment, monitoring of projects, among others. I learned, learned about impact investment and I exchange contact information with finance partner. Okay, interesting. I went shattered. Okay, Magdia. Okay. We went the wedding seminar with my wife. Uh, we went at the wedding seminar in my car. When my wife say me, did you turn off the light of the kitchen? And I say, heard, I don't remember. And, I, and she said, I can't be possible. When we arrived, they had canceled it. Oh, Only. really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. We have time for one or two more. Me, teacher. Hey, Raul, go ahead. In May 2022, I did a training about financial analysis. I meet 20 new people and I learned to read financial statement in a hotel capital in San Salvador. 
the coffee break and lunch were delicious. And start to 7 a.m. and finish at 4 p.m. during two Saturdays. Ah, okay. Good. One more. Pedro? Teacher. Uh, I attend a business meeting about new trends in the refrigerant market and compliance with the Kigali protocol. Uh, we also exchange ideas on how to apply this new practice for the replacement of refrigerants that damage the environment. Okay. Good. One more. Hi. Hi, Last week I had an event where a lot of people attended a lot of product was all because they had this quen. I enjoy serving so many clients. I am passionate about selling and activating my goal. Okay, interesting. Very good. Hi, The last one, okay. yeah. Wendy. Okay. The seminar was on Wednesday, where it was shared by the colleagues, and they gave us a seminar about um, keywords in sales to be able to have reader sales our own um, to be able to learn about uh, more opportunities in marketing. Okay, very good. Okay, people, it is time. Very good. Uh, I'm going to take the last attendance of the night. <laughs> Alba Janet Jimenez. Present teacher. Okay. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Good. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Erika Denise Escobar. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Herman Enrique González. Present, teacher. Hey. Okay. Jennifer Lister Aquino. Present. Okay. Jose Abel Isquerre. Here present teacher. Okay, good night. Good night. Uh, Karina Elizabeth Hernandez. No. Magdiel Esau Garcia. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Good night. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Uh, Raul Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Teacher. Okay, good night. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present. Okay. Uh, William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good night. Good night. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. And Henry Alberto Perez. Here I am, teacher. Okay, thank you. See you next Monday. See you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend.
be careful with the rain. Okay, teacher. See you Monday. See you. Okay, Jennifer, do you have any questions? Mm, uh, what is the difference um, um, personal and personal? Ah, okay. Let's see, back to the book. Very nice. Okay. Personal, no, the yellow, the yellow one. Personal. Personal se refiere a belonging to a particular person. Algo que pertenece a una persona en particular. ¿Ya? Algo de uso personal. That is personal. Y personal. Personal se refiere a la. Dice people who work for a company. A las personas la persona la empresa. que trabajan para una empresa. ¿Verdad? Y veamos el ejercicio que está aquí para. Dice, who is responsible for the personnel at the plant? ¿Quién es responsable por el personal en la planta? Ese personal se refiere a la gente, ¿verdad? A las personas que trabajan ahí. <risa> Number two, does the marketing manager have? ¿Cuál sería acá? Personal or personal? ¿No cree usted? Personal. Person. Person. Uh -huh. ¿Este? Uh, no, el otro. Ah, el otro. ¿Cómo es que la de pronuncia el otro? Per Personal. Personal. Y esto es personal. A ver. Porque no estamos hablando del asistente. Ajá. La pregunta es. Está preguntando si el marketing manager tiene un asistente personal. Mm. Si no estamos hablando de la asistencia, sino algo que tiene el manager. Exacto, una, un asistente personal, un asistente particular, uh -huh. asistente para él, ella. Uh -huh. Aquí sería personal. Porque es algo de, que él tiene. Exacto, no estamos hablando de todo el grupo de personas que trabajan uh -huh. en la empresa. Ah. A ver, esta otra dice It is necessary to train more for the high season. Ahí sí sería person. Es necesario entrenar. Personal o personal. Ay, yo escucho la otra igual que lo dice. <laughs> person. Personnel. Ese. Personnel. Y el otro personal. Ajá. Personal. Ok. Mm -hmm. Personal. Muy bien. Please do not bring your problems to the office. Personal. Personal. Ah. 
and five the of the workshop need new uniforms personal uh -huh. Correct. Okay. Practicamos. Y también tal vez un poco. Ah, bueno. Va. Okay. Who is responsible for the personnel at the plant? Who is responsible for the personnel at the plant? Does the marketing manager have a personal assistant? Does the marketing manager have a personal assistant? It's necessary to train more personnel for the high season. It's necessary to train more personnel for the high season. Please do not bring your personal problem to the office. Please do not bring your personal problems to the office. The personnel of the workshop need forms. The personnel of the workshop need a new uniform. Uh Muy bien, ¿qué más me, me, me decía? El pasivo, voice pasivo. Ah, ok. Sí, sí creo que estaba más arriba. No, vámonos aquí mejor. The passive voice. Bueno, en primer lugar consiste de objeto, el verbo to be y el verbo principal. Viene el libro todavía, teacher. El libro, ah. Sí. ¿Qué pasa? Lo de person, personal y personal. Ay. Ahora sí. Sí. Eh, decía que, bueno, se forma las oraciones con passive voice. La estructura es sujeto, el verbo to be y el pasado participio. El verbo principal. ¿Verdad? Sujeto, uh -huh. verbo to be, el pasado participio. Y algunas veces... Eh, se habla de la gente, es decir, quién hace la acción algunas veces. Uh -huh. Bueno, este cuadro se lo mostraba solo para hacerle ver que se puede usar en todos los tiempos, ¿verdad? Presente, presente continuo, pasado. Y que la forma... Eh, El tiempo verbal lo determina el verbo to be. ¿Verdad? Como este es presente, vamos a usar is. Si es plural, are. Y si es I, am. Um. ¿Verdad? El presente continuo, el pasado, futuro, es el verbo to be. Entonces, siempre es el verbo to be. Presente, pasado, futuro, o lo que sea. Y el pasado participio del verbo. Comparábamos la active voice con la passive voice. En la active Pero en, voice. en sí, ¿qué es, ¿qué es la passive voice? O sea, ¿qué significa eso? Voz pasiva. Una sí. voz pasiva. Es decir, ¿por qué? Porque en la voz activa se hace énfasis en 
quien hace la acción. Uh -huh. Ahí está el énfasis. Por eso dice, yo canto la canción. I sing the song. You play the song. Entonces, el, el énfasis está en quién ejecuta la acción. Uh -huh. Y en voz, en pasiva, voz pasiva, el se énfasis dice la está acción y, en y la no, acción. Y no siempre quien la hace. No siempre quien la hace. Ah. ¿Verdad? La canción es cantada por mí. Uh -huh. Aquí sí. ¿Verdad? The song is played by you. ¿Verdad? En el ejemplo que yo les ponía acá, este, vemos que en algunas sí se menciona quién hace la acción. Muy que se la compañía. By the company, by the mechanic, the mechanic. by the operators. Uh -huh. ah, por ejemplo, yo digo, the new printer is bought by the company. ¿Verdad? The new printer is bought by the company. My car is repaired by the mechanic. Y si menciono quién hace la acción. Ajá. Pero por ejemplo en esta otra, the office is cleaned every day at 7 a.m. Aquí no importa no es relevante quien lo, lo hace. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. ¿No? Pero siempre vemos que el orden es sujeto. ¿Verdad? The uh -huh. office. El verbo to be. El verbo principal en pasado participio. Y el complemento. complemento. No siempre va quien lo ejecuta. Y cuando va quien lo hace, usualmente va en lo que se conoce como una by phrase. Una frase que uh -huh. comienza con by. By. Oh. O sea, por la. Por mecánico, por la compañía, por los operarios. Ya. Yeah. Pero ¿No? sí, lo que no entendía yo cuando, ¿qué significaba eso del sujeto pasivo? De, de voice pasivo. Pero sí, entendí de uh -huh. que voice active es cuando estamos hablando de quién ejecuta la acción. O sea, la, les damos la acción a alguien en específico uh -huh. y él es como que el centro de la oración. Y el voice passive es como decir algo, pero que no se le atribuye a alguien necesariamente. Uh -huh. Ya. Ah, pues. uh -huh. <risa> ok, Jennifer. That's all for today. Have a good night. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.